trying to win 12 straight for the first time since April of 82. 82 team went on to win the World Series, so somewhere the suspense is building for John Stuper and Willie McGee. St. Louis hadn't won a World Series since. Redbirds at Reds. Tony La Russa and J.D. Drew stick around him, and he did a home run in the eighth. But this is the top of the fourth. Albert Pujols, one zip Reds. He's going to tie it up. Uh, Chris Reitzman, he hits it high. First guy to go over that 40-foot high wall in center field there at Synergy is 29th. It's a 1-1 game. Top eight tied at one. Drew facing Reitzma. It's in the eighth. There's that home run. Not as high, but just as effective. It's gone. It's 22nd. It's two on cards. And now the fun starts. Bottom eight, two outs. Tony Russa takes out Mike Matthews. Gene Stick. Schulte comes in, but he would walk Ruben Rivera. So you, your bat, get out. Russa takes him out, brings in Dave Veers. Thank you very much. But after a Todd Walker base hit, Larusa, he wants another guy. He brings in Steve Klein. There's Klein, fourth Cardinal pitcher in the eighth inning, sixth overall with Dobbs. Gets Adam Dunn right to Fernando Vina. Inning is over. And then it got really, really screwy. Bottom nine, seventh inning, 2 1 cards. Junior, look at that. Fernando Vina gets run over by Wilton Guerrero. Run scores, makes it 2 2. And they finally get Guerrero at second, but Tony La Russa come out and are. You see his man, he's been beat up. We take another look, because Vina absolutely gets blindsided by Guerrero. Now the umps, in their infinite wisdom, decide that Vina interfered with the base runner. And so we take the out back, and Guerrero, he's back to being safe at second. There you see it. Ouch, La Russa is not happy, he protests the game. Top 10, 2-2 game, 2 on Bobby Bonilla. Pinch hitting for Mike Timlin, and there's a ground ball to Sean Casey, and he just can't handle it. Kerry Robinson would score, makes it 3-2 in favor of the Cards. In the 10th, Andy Bennis on against Todd Walker. 4-2 game just became a 4-3 game. Not a lot of guys stuck around to see this thing. It's too bad because it gets great. Venice again facing a former teammate with the Diamondbacks, Kelly Stinnett. If you can catch him, you can hit him. That's going to be gone as well into some concrete over there. We're tied at four. Robinson can't believe it. He's hung up. One out in the tenth. Pincher Denny Reyes forced to hit. High chopper at Garantaria throws it away. It's an air. Go to second. Matt couldn't make the pick. Now Pokey Reese up with one out. Pinch hitter. Runner Lance Davis is on second. Reese, Jim Edmonds is there now. There's two outs. He thinks there's three. Uh-oh. Here comes Davis. And now he's going to start hustling. Third base coach right there puts the brakes on him, but he's kind of in no man's land. And the cards in the hot box run him down, and that would be the end of the 10th, 4-4. Four, four. In the bottom of the album, one out. Junior deep off Venice. There goes our man Jim Edmonds again, and this time he can't get it, and that ball is running away from Kerry Robinson, and Junior's just flat out running. He's got two inside the park home runs. Three would give him a win in this ball game. He's got it. His first inside the park home run since 1990. First is a game winner since August of 27th last year by Bobby Abreu. It's huge drama as the Cards win streak ends at 11. The Reds losing Jack blows up at eight just since his 19th home win of the season. Not the best 34th birthday for Andy Bennis, who blows a save and then picks up the loss. He was the eighth and last of the Cards pitchers to work. Todd Walker, Four Knox Jr. finished three for five and very winded. On that play, when did you think you might have a shot at, at making it all the way around? When I slid in the home. <laughs> when he said safe, I was like, okay, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun to be a part of this. Um, you know, guys battled back, got to back-to-back -back home runs to tie it. Um, had some weird plays, uh, almost a, a sacrifice score from second, things like that. And, you know, but uh, it was just, you know, everybody hung in there and, you know, we won. Junior enjoys St. Louis pitching. He now has nine homers and 18 RBI in 17 contests against the Redbirds, the most against any NL opponent. By the way, half of Griffey's 16 homers this year have come in August. Mark McGuire, 21 homerless games against the Reds now. That is not enjoyable. Cubs began the day two out of first in the Central. The first of two hosting Milwaukee. We're tied at one bottom three. Bill Miller. Back That's here. contact up the middle. Mark Loretta. Great range. And then the finish. Great play by Mark Loretta. Top five, 2-1 Brewers now. One on.
Richie Sexton. Sizzling, a two-run home run. This one off of John Lieber, not easy to do. Three RBIs for Sexton in this game. Sexton's 30th of the year, the third straight 30 homer season for Richie Sexton. So Sammy Sosa, that's crazy. A two-run home run off of Allen LeBron, number 45, 431 all-time for Sosa. For three now, Brewers. Same score in the six, two on for Joe Girardi. Picking his spots, that scores Matt Stairs. We're tied at four. Same score, bottom eight, bases full, Delano DeShields. Off of Mike DeJean, that just keeps going. Sweeney can't quite get it. Eric Young, Ricky Gutierrez, Joe Girardi all score on the triple for DeShields. Big hit with two out, Cubs win. Snapping a three-game losing skid, Kyle Farnsworth got the win with two innings of hitless relief. Flash Gordon, who fell off the mound after stepping in a hole, ready to nothing Brewers, two on for Kevin Brown. Yeah, that Kevin Brown. Another homer. This guy homered twice against the Reds on Saturday. All three of Brown's hits this season, home runs. 5-0 Brewers. It was 6-0, bags full. Felix Heredia, wild. Luis Lopez scores 7-0. Then in the same inning, Jose Hernandez, liner. Corey Patterson takes a chance, diving it, can't get it. To the wall, it goes to run score. It's 9-0 Milwaukee. It was 10-0 in the six. Sammy Sosa in Jamie Wright. Sosa. The force is strong in that one. His 46th of the year, 28th career homer against Milwaukee, including five this year. Suddenly, it's still not a game. It's 10-1. In the dugout, yeah. Sosa imitation, still in the six, Ron Coomer. In the hole, Mike Poolbaugh, the diving stop, the throw to first. Brewers win the nightcap easily. Brewers salvaging the split. Jimmy Wright winning for the first time. This is our Sports Center showcase. Would Clemens feel at home in his home state, looking to go 17 and 1? We'll find out in a bit. Top of the second, Rick Helling on the mound for Texas, facing David Justice. Justice. Jimmy Jackson, his 15th home run of the year. As for Helling, 30th home run given up by him, most in the American League. Justice, 2 for 4, 2 RBI, hit 241. Roger Clemens facing Rafael Palmero. Men on second and third, Palmero, the grounder. Alfonso Soriano, the diving stop, gets Rafi. Mike Lamb scores from third. It's 3 2 Texas. Next batter, Yvonne Rodriguez. Pug knows where to put it. The right field is pretty deep. Two run home run number 24 on the year. Clemens hit hard in that inning. Lasted six, left five runs, one earned. Top of the six, Rick Helling facing Bernie Williams. Bernie, never to be underestimated. Neither for Gabe Kapler in center, robbing Bernie of extra bases. 5 4 Texas, Paul O'Neill. So there. Solo home run, upper decker, number 19 for O'Neill to tie the game at five. Two batters later, to think the Yankees once thought about trading Tino Martinez. Number 28 on the year. The Rangers pen getting rocked. You have him 7 5 Yankees. Tino 3 for 5, 272 he's hitting. But Texas looking to tie it. Rafael Pomero, the tying run at the plate. Now 4 for 16 lifetime against Mariano Rivera. And the Yanks hang on to win by the score of 9 to 5. Tina, by the way, left the ninth inning with leg cramps. Yanks' losing streak ends at two. Texas scoring three in the fifth off of the rocket. Grab higher. Top second, tires oh, up one zip. Shane Hunter with a man on off Freddie Garcia. We're going to need a new baseball. Two run jack. Tigers up three zip. Might be all they need. It's all they would need, sure. Steve Sparks, your knuckleball specialist against Mark McLemore. That's a bit of a floater. The pride of Skelly oh, Junior High gets Edgar Martinez with Le Papillon. Bottom seven, Sparks still cruising. Mike Cameron, that is not an eight RBI day. Half swing, whole strike. And in the bottom of the night, two outs, Sparks facing John Olroot. And he throws in the gas. 79 miles an hour, the cheese. Tigers win 4-1, five hit complete game for Sparks. He's tied for the AL lead with five complete games on the year. The Tigers win for the fourth straight time at Safeco. Should move six. Indians A's, Chuck Finley, 8-19 in his career against LAC. Oakland. Finley's problems with the A's not only represent the most losses by an active pitcher against Oakland, but the 19 defeats leads all active pitchers and losses to any single team. Bottom four, no score, bases loaded, two out. Almeida signs at the plate. Signs, read it, the looper. Juan Gonzalez tries, but he can't make the play. Jason Giambi, Terrence Long, and Miguel Tejada score triple for signs. A's go up three to nothing. Same score, top of the fifth, two out now. Barry Zito on the mound. 
Zito. This is why everybody wants this pitcher and wishes they had him. Because of that stuff. Zito, seven Ks through five. A's up five, nothing. One on in the seven. Jermaine Dye. Boy, what a pickup for Oakland. Jermaine Dye, the launch. Isn't it a good thing that Dye's family was there to see his 19th home run? A's up 9 0, 1 out, Zito. Striking out the dangerous Juan Gonzalez. A career high 11 Ks for Barry. Complete game shutout for him. A's win 9 0. It's a four hit shutout, his second shutout in three starts. His ERA 0.93 over hamstring on Sunday. 2 0 Boston, Shea Hill and Brand straight away. Number 10, 3 0 Boston. Top four runners on second and third this time. They intentionally walk Shea Hill and Brown. Next batter, Doug Mirabelli. Mirabelli. He's been lifting. A liner down the line. Dante Bichette would score. Troy O'Leary would score. Five nothing Boston. Bottom four, Frank Castillo facing Troy Gloss. Gloss. No competition. Castillo, seven innings, five hits allowed. No earned runs, five Ks. Red Sox beat the Angels 6-1. to one. Frank Castillo, those seven shutout innings, impressive. It's Minnesota in a summer deep freeze. Top four, no score. Brad Fulmer. Got a couple men on, and everybody gets to walk home. Baggies, 16th of the season for Fulmer, 3-0 Toronto. Bottom nine still, 3-zip. One on, one out for Christian Guzman. That one's off. Calvin Escobar, Jack Jones will score. Twins cut the lead to 3-1. Couple of batters later. Still just one out, now two on. Billy Koch on, facing Corey Koski. Oh, we're gonna play a little more baseball. Koski, a little bingo, Guzman scores. Twins cut up to 3-2. Next batter, Torrey Hunter. Koch, the gas, oh, the hook. One out away from the save. Next batter, David Ortiz. There he is, you can see he's got a bat. Bat on ball, but Homer Bush is there over to first. Well played. Blue Jays hold on to win it 3-2. Fulmer's one swing holds up. Twins lose their 10th in 11 games. They're now just five games over 500. Calvi Escobar moved into the starting rotation last month. Eight and a third scoreless before getting charged with two there in the ninth. Wins his third straight. Joe Mays a five hitter but loses. Show flopper. Pass the peanuts, will you? Okay. Bad defense, the main attraction. The White Sox falling 10 to 1 to the Royals. Why'd you stop the music? Jose Valentin, third.